The all-new Oxford Rail Pilchard Ballast and Sleeper Wagon. A new manufacturer for me as I don't have any Oxford Rail models. Well, I didn't. It comes in a whopping great box for a small model, but is a very reasonable £17.95 in price. And I can't help but think that this is a very brave move for a manufacturer to produce quite an obscure wagon, of which only 50 were ever built. Out of the box, and it looks very good. Legible lettering, even the works plate is crisp and readable. You'll probably need a magnifying glass like I did, but hey, it's there. I was going to question the grey livery, but I found a picture on Paul Bartlett's website of this very wagon, DB990092, and it clearly shows it in grey. With these close-up shots, you can see the detailing is very good. Riveting on the body side strapping, hinges and door springs all look the part. The wheels have been left unpainted and are bare metal. I was expecting to see the tension lock coupling be part of the bogies, but in actual fact are attached to the body. We'll see if that's a problem in a moment. There's a packet in the box containing Instantalink couplings for those of you that wish to use them. And if you do, you may wish to swap the buffers as they're not sprung. The interior is also well detailed, the sheet metal flooring being depicted well. The insides of the doors are painted beige, replicating unpainted wood. I expect there'll be some exceptional weathering photos of these online in the coming weeks. On first radius curves, those couplings are going to be problematic. It doesn't seem so on second radius or greater though. What it's coupled next to might make a difference. Ordered, I think, by LNER and built by British Railways in 1951 to diagram 1571. One lot of 50 vehicles was built at Butterley and Co. Railway Wagon Works. Numbers were DB99050 to DB990099. Seen here, sandwiched between the two vehicles the Pilchard couldn't live up to, the Salmon and the Grampus. It being too short and for a bogey vehicle not having a vast capacity, only being capable of carrying 20 tonnes. Allocated to Eastern region depots throughout their existence, it would appear to have been a rare thing to have gone off region. All were withdrawn from service in the early 1980s, and I don't think any survive in preservation. 